after he pays. Okay, he's bothering me today. I'm back. Oh, jeez. I'm back and I'm bad, man. Yeah, bad right. <laughs> I got a broken WLC and Tatra said, take it down to San Diego Harley. That's right. They'll fix it. They'll fix it. They're picking on me. Yeah. <laughs> that my new adopted dumbass kid. Who, Walker? Alan. Or Bobo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, brother. Picking on me. Hey, I miss Tatro Machine. It's too far away from South Bend, Indiana. That's right. Yeah. What are these? Well, those look like, oh, okay. What, you just got two of them or three? What do you want? He, I think he well, wanted three. I'm going to call him. Yeah. So, uh, anyways. Oh, boy. There you go. Now yeah, we're baby. talking. Sure. Uh, NOS, NOS, uh, seat pins for solo seat for 45 or they fit all kinds of stuff but Tatro's had them in stock there for probably 30 years 40 years maybe so uh, anyways well I'm a little nervous here on the camera so I'll, uh, I'll just do a little videotaping while we're videotaping yeah there he is there's the proprietor of this fine establishment and a little bit, hey, uh, for the viewing audience, if you guys haven't gotten your Tatro machine hats yet, make sure you order. They won't last long. They're going fast. They're flying off the shelf. What's the price on those, Tatro? I don't know. Okay. Too much. Depending on how, what kind of mood you catch them. Also, we're heavy in tribodyne oil here. We got every uh, weight known to man. For diesel trucks, race cars, race bikes, transmission, two-stroke, all of that stuff. So let's see. We'll take a little tour around. I've been gone for a year, so uh, I don't know exactly what he's got going, but we're working on cylinder heads here, Sportster stuff, he said. Flywheels, Sportster cases. Nice stuff. There's always something going on here. Bike stands, tools. Uh, a lot of people question his madness here. Does he know what he's doing? Well, I don't know. I wonder about that too sometime. But uh, he seems to be hanging on here. I don't know. Um, workbench, whatever. I'm a little disappointed. I'd like to see these race bikes at least uncovered. He doesn't get out as much as he used to, but uh, uh, that was a fun part of Tatro Machine here for a long time. Of course, that's what keeps his juices flowing, but I don't know. Anytime you come here, there's always something new, something interesting to look at. Who knows what those are? Something. So, uh, Anyways, to all my fans, I, Tatro said a couple of folks asked about me. I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm living in South Bend. I miss uh, San Diego and the nice folks here. So uh, everybody have a great day, okay? Thanks. Timing plug hole. He's back. <laughs> I'm off the phone. <laughs> well, turn that thing on you. Don't turn it on me. <laughs> we can't both be on the phone, on the camera. Right, well. See, I'm over here on this side of the counter. Yeah. The, I... the working side. Yeah. He's over here on the bullshit side. <laughs> so, well, that's what I do. That's, that's all you get. That's what I do. So let's see. So did you figure out what these were yet? Yeah. But what what year? Thir let's see. 29 and later. Well, Who spelled later? Me. L a t t e r. You don't like. <laughs> Hey. Well, when, your high school teacher wouldn't be happy with that. They'd probably when I was it. a kid, I had to unpack all this crap, decosmoline it, bag it, tag it, and then sell it at swap meets. That's what I grew up doing. That's why I know old parts. No, I know, but they're nice, though, huh? So some people say this is reproduction crap. No, it's me doing work when I was a kid. Yeah, at about 12 years of age, that's how long I know you. 
Yeah, well, where'd you meet me at the swap meet? Selling yeah, shit, I did. right? See? Yeah. So at 12, I was still doing it. You were greasy from head so to toe in your So this dad's... one here is a timing hole plug. See, it's a timing hole plug. See, we have a Harley part number description and what it fits. And we used to sell all this crap. Well, it's still selling it on eBay. He's worried about springs. You got the springs that go with them, too? He said he had the springs. All right, well, I'm going to call him. He said he wants five. You got springs. He said he bought the springs at Davenport. All right, well, let me call. Let me find out. I'm assuming that's an antique swap meet that he went to and not just at the dump. It might have been a dump, though. We don't know. So what's Alan been doing while he's back here? He's freezing. I'm going to pass you over to Lipsky. You well, can you can't this. be on the video with Lipsky. All right, well, we'll be back in a minute. Hang All on. Right, we got the cut. We got business. Cut. All right. There, yeah, we're back to Alan. Alan said he already told you everything about him. No, I showed him around the shop. I so, give him an update. How do you like that snow back east? That's pretty, well, it's livable. How about it's the a, ice? You like the ice? Well, it's, the ice skate, too? No, it's livable. It's, it's, ice, it's ice skating? Yeah, it's okay. Hey, what's up with this? You're not wearing a teacher hat. No, here. no, I save them. No, no, I, I save them for special special occasions. Yeah. You're a Studebaker guy. I'm going to get my Studebaker out of the canyon up here on 47th Street. Oh, that's a 49.50. It's a 51 bullet nose coupe. They made a 51 bullet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty neat. Yeah, it's Starliner cab. Too, yeah, pretty neat. As long as not my pickup truck you're taking, we're all right. No, no. Got to keep my pickup trucks. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. So, uh, what did you tell them about your Yamaha uh, dirt bike uh, diesel military thing that you were showing off in San Diego? No, you wouldn't even. Where'd you, show that? Where'd you show that at? Over in a big Phoenix air sh uh, military. Phoenix. Phoenix. Military show in Phoenix. He's over military show in Phoenix, and everybody's trying to buy it because it had a, it had a lot of mileage on it. Yeah, no miles at all. Well, how much was it? Uh, I could have sold it for twelve. Twelve dollars. Tw twelve grand. Oh no, not grand. That's a jet bike. $12. Yeah, but they're real rare. Would you have two hundred what miles on it? Maybe I. Maybe you trade me out of that. That's that van I want to move. Is that the one you move? Is that one of those machine shop things? Yeah, it's a repair, all insulated. Look at that. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much money they want to charge to haul that piece of crap back east. That thing costs the taxpayers one hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, and it's going to cost you that to move it, though. You know, I hope not. Why can't? What do you mean? You just hook that damn thing. And it's got a fifth wheel on it, doesn't it? Yeah, but who's got a truck? I don't know. Who wants to haul a rig back east and visit Alan's collection of junk? You. They want how much? How much are you going to pay? Ten. Well, I already. Well, he already got me for. Buck fifty-five a mile is thirty-four hundred and fifty dollars. Thirty-five hundred dollars, and they want more to go twenty-five hundred miles. They found out that it was bigger than a than a pickup truck, I guess. It's yeah. bigger than a pickup truck. So what it cost to move the Hummer and the other thing back there? Ninety-six hundred dollars. Ninety-six hundred bucks to haul a Hummer and a, and a three pieces. That yeah. was what the Navy van thing, Air Force. Yeah, van? the Air Force van. And Air Force and step van. And let's see what else. Yeah. And that big truck. Yeah. And you had a big truck too. Yeah. Your semi truck. You should. Why did you pull it? Your, oh, yes, right. You didn't want to put miles on it. Collector's item. <laughs> it's not a collector's item. You can't it's go too, in the desert with a desert vehicle. It's just the way it is. No, no, I can't have it's that. It's too far. Hell, it's 2,500 miles. Yeah, that thing might never make it that far. Yeah, it'll make it. Don't you worry, your pretty little yeah, head. See, about that it. thing right there went 3,500 miles in three weeks and didn't have a problem. Yeah, I know. See, that's because it's a real vehicle up there, see? Yeah, that's. Uh, so they made it? You were supposed to go on that ride. I ain't going on that stupid ride. Jeez, Why? What a bunch of crap. That had done you some good, Tatro. Jeez. What was that ride going to cost? That was like five grand to go on that stupid ride. What a ridiculous. Well, you'd have had to thing. change the oil in your bike. Which no, was, I would not. Which was not going to happen. I got Tribodine in that. I don't have to change the oil in that no, thing. No, I know. I got Tribodine in most of my stuff now. You think I could take a half track if I drag it? Uh, what do you mean a half track? It's a I military. Don't, I don't know anybody that's got a half track. It's a military parade. We're gonna drag race, aren't we? Nah. There's well, no, no drag racing. You could. You could drag. Yeah. Well, I don't want to go off a damn patent tank. They're not very fast. I'll show you how cold it is. Or a Sherman tank. What other things? I can find it. Yeah. Alan's getting cold. He said. No, not here. Oh, not here. Not here. So what do you got done on your military bike? Your WLC uh, 42. I got, the, I got the exhaust pipes Somebody all done. Somebody wanted to buy your front end, I think, on one of the comments or do something. No. What would I do? Uh, make a unicycle out of it. Yeah. No. Gotta I got. It, uh, keep it stock. Okay. I. You're gonna holler, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. I'd let a guy rivet those straps on the back fender. See, I already know you're. They don't look like the front rivets. 
Well, you know, if you brought it here. Well, I didn't have time. You drug your uh, sack it's for all, my fault. all that time. I was yeah. here, I was here, I was here. Yeah, well. So I had a guy do it, but they could be drilled out again. They will but, be. When I see them, they'll yo, be Yo, I know. Out. They're not going to meet your standards. They're going to be ground out and beat out with a big hammer. No, and, no. They're not that bad. Then I'll do it correctly. Yeah. There's my house when I left. Out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Lots of snow. That's when he left. <laughs> Does that work on the camera? I don't know. Right, well, you get rid of the light. You got enough Who light? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Where's the shop at? A mile away. I got a, my shop's a mile away. Got a picture of that? Uh, I think so. <coughs> so many bikes are in the collection now? Seven. Seven? Yeah. But some of them are Jap stuff. How You're, many are Harleys? Just the one. Oh, he's only got one bike. Until you finish my panhead back there. The, the 59? And then I got a reason to come back, yeah. What if somebody else wants that panhead? Well, you got... You're like a horror Tatro. You got people all over town. They'd have to build a 50 or 51 panhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Well, I got that new case I picked up with a 51. Did you? Yeah. Well, hell, none of us will live that long. The number, get... the number of cases in 10 pieces... Oh, God. You think you could put it back together? Was that a question? <laughs> well, I know you're going to try. Yeah, I wouldn't be any much problem doing that. So what are we working on here tonight? we got customers. Well, we're talking about you. All right. Well, Where's the picture of your house at or your shop? So what else you got? What do you got in military vehicles? Just just that. Just what? I bought this little Model A truck. Ooh, that looks neat. Yeah, it's all original. Look at that pile of crap. That looks nice. It's pretty low performance, but so it sure is fun. 28 or 9? It's a 30, actually. Not with that damn cowl on there. Yeah, it's a 1930. Looks like the cowl's sticking out. That's not 30. Uh, that's what it's registered as. That's a 29. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I bought that. I like that little car. It's pretty fun. What's it got in it? Hemi? Just a, no, yeah, right. <laughs> just a little flat, just a little flatty. Got a banger in it? Yeah. Yeah. But it's pretty, it's pre oh yeah, hey, I didn't even see that. Yeah, you know, I know how to work on those too, though. I, th I got a video of me fixing a flathead. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of grief about that. I don't know how to do anything type thing. Yeah, you're a guy that's got it. Yeah, that's that when they took the Bonneville and uh, they ran it down Bonneville on nitro with the uh, and water somehow wasn't in the motor. Something happened on the way down. Here I was speed tuning it. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> Speed tuning it. Had all the wheels. <laughs> Where's the skis gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I packed all the wheel bearings. Well, if you find a five window coupe body back there, let me know. I need one. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of that stuff's gone back in the Midwest. I even need a body, or I need a top to like weld the top of my uh, my sport coupe. My twenty nine. It's in the playlist. Except I'm gonna put a Lincoln flathead motor in. I'm not gonna screw around. I got three extra motors I bought. And he wants me to sell his race motor. Duh, you're selling on making weed now, huh? Well, it's growing all over. That's right there in the ditch bank. He's he's growing weed. <laughs> it's not legal in Indiana, but it is in Michigan. It's legal right there. Yeah, it's growing. <laughs> Just you don't want to go messing around with it. Someone's gonna come back for it. <laughs> no, it grows wild. It's growing oh, wild all there over. You go. Where's the picture of the shop? I'm looking. I'm oh, looking geez, here. Just you got a minute. 50 million pictures. I had here. my kid revamp my oh, phone geez. and the, now the I can't. kid worked uh, on it. Oh, geez. Now I can't find it. Oh, well. So you got your Hummer running back there through the snow? Yeah, yeah I do actually. How fast it go? Oh, it's only 50. Do you jump it? There's the. Oh, you can't. That don't show nothing. How much pot can you carry in it? No, I'm not messing with it. I'm a good, I'm a good boy. I'm messing with that jet. Let's see. You can take it up to Michigan, I hear. I'm going to get money for it. Well, legal in Michigan, but not anywhere else. Yeah, in California, everywhere. Except here, where it's not allowed in the shop. Here, you'll like this. Your drain pipe's not working. He has well, a leaky. The, he has a leaky drain pipe. It can't keep up. That's all. That's uh, that's t minus twenty. You mean it rains back there? No, it's just from the heat of the roof and the oh. day and the, just. It's a different world. Where's the shop at? What happened? Ah, god damn it! No, he's not going to help you. Let me see if I can find it here. Let me get all the hate mail about that one. Why? About what? Oh, your 
verbal abuse with me here. No. <laughs> There's some pretty nice guys back there. I met this guy, Dale Service Center. Yeah. And he he's uh, built. They're they're interested in some performance stuff back there. You there you go. He bought that car, the motors out of it. That looks like a nice Harley. He's 66 years old. What year is that Harley? <laughs> yeah, there's no Harley in there. No, they're big cars. I, think I saw that at Vegas. Uh, my, maybe. Hey, did you go to SEMA show this year? I went to Vegas and drag racing. Yeah, we went to SEMA for the one day. Who, who, you and who? Then Fred wanted to go the second day. Me and Van. Oh. Hmm. It's in the racing stuff. He's got a '63 Corvette uh, 990 index car. Wow. Runs low 170s and a quarter with it, with a big Chevy. Got Trabadon in it. He likes the transmission oil. It dropped 28 degrees on the temperature in a, on his drag car. Are we... Uh, so now it doesn't get hot between rounds. He likes that. Are we uh, selling a lot of Tribodyne or no? Uh, I just sold some to you. Well, yeah, I know, because I, I don't buy it offline. I know where you live. If it's goofed up, I'm coming back now, to everybody you. Everybody buys it uh, cheaper elsewhere. Do they? Yeah. Well, what kind of nonsense is that? No, I don't know. It is what it is. There's this company out there that's liquidating it because it didn't sell very good. And some big mass market. You have to figure oh, out. Oh, really? Yeah. So they bought. Uh, they got bought. They bought one or two pallets for Mark, and uh, so they just been dumping it for a year now. Nobody wants to buy it even if they have to pay for it. Not pay for it. But, uh, well, people, they don't. You know, they don't care. So anyway, just had a, one of the bike guys just bought some of the cheap junk, and he's going to put it in his uh, his bike, test it out, see how it runs. He's already got it in the bike, so he'll see if it runs the same, I guess. Maybe got another bike. I don't remember. There's a two-stroke guy back east. He uh, he bought some. He likes that. There's a little, uh, he was a uh, Botaco. 72 or something. He likes it. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah, he rides the bike now. He leaned it out. It used to smoke like crazy. We leaned that thing out. No smoke. He likes riding up and down the uh, front of the house at home. Street. Having fun. An old fart like you, probably. Probably. Yep. So it used to be just a little garage queen. Now he actually goes out and rides what it up and down the street. I don't think it gets any dirt on it, though. No, that'd be too no. much. But, yeah, at least you don't want to do that. Having fun in the neighborhood. That's what they're all about. So when are we going to get you back on your first bike? Uh, I have to put my first bike back together. Well, that's what I said. If all the parts aren't gone, it's in back. Yeah, but yeah, but that <clears throat> thing hasn't. That thing. Ha when when did you pull it apart? Uh, Eighty six. So what is that? What year is this? Thirty four years it's been apart. Tune up. What about my street bike? That's embarrassing back there, Tatro. What, what year did I take apart my street I my street know. bike? You ought to be ashamed. It was ninety eight or ninety nine. I took my street bike apart. You ought to be ashamed. It needed. I had to do a top in on it, and uh, it wouldn't shift anymore. It kept popping out of gear and high gear. It was a. It's a Sportster. What a shocker! <clears throat> so it looks like a sixty nine Sportster, but it's a seventy one because that's the year of the frame. But anyway, it's a. Uh, it's an XLH. So yeah, we took that apart. It was a. Uh, you know, I couldn't ride it no more. I was having too much trouble trying to go fast in the freeway. It kept popping out of high gear. Well, we can fix that here, though, can't we? So it's, uh, it's still in pieces. I'm in a big rush to get it done. Well, I'm thinking you ought to, you know, get some of that stuff going for yourself. I have some time working on my own crap, you mean? Well, yeah, that ain't going to happen. I'm more like working on your bike. When are you going to bring it back? Are you going to bring it back next you, time? I... I can't, I'm camping out here, man. I can't stay. Oh, that's for... an excuse. Got a whole driveway out there. Yeah, I could camp out here, huh? There's a whole spot right out well, there. Well, if you lock the gate, yeah, I guess I could. Well, there's a gate. Somebody said they changed that ordinance here in San Diego. You can actually You can sleep camp anywhere. Out. Did well, you hear new... about that or no? Well, the, uh, the Supreme Court didn't take on the case, so the, uh, you can sleep anywhere now and not be arrested. Federal. Well, what about all those poor people that got arrested? Unless, unless there's a place that they can put you, you're stuck. You can do what you want. Isn't that something? Any kind of city property, federal property, doesn't matter. Can't do it on private property, I'll kick your ass out of here in a heartbeat. I've been known to do that out front. You let that guy... You know, guy shopping carts do fly. You let that guy live out here for a year. Uh, that was because Gino said it was okay. 
That poor guy, that poor guy. But nobody else. Remember him being out there in the rain? Yeah. Right on him? Yeah, I'm out there in the rain too working. Oh, brother. All right, well, we're going to leave now because he's talking about bums. That's not even worth That's going to be weather's going to be next. All right, we'll so, see you. Next time you see him, he's going to look a lot different than that. I don't think so. He'll have a Tatro hat on. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, adios.